so I'm going to uh, do a demo of our uh, P2P chat final project. So in this pro uh, in this demo, I'm going to um, imitate two peers that build up the connection on my own computer. So uh, for one peer, I'm going to uh, let the uh, one of the peers to listening on the port six 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 seven and let the other uh, listening on the port six 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 eight. So this one, this one is the peer that listening on the port six 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 seven. I'm going to call it peer one, and the second peer is listening on port six 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 eight, and uh, let's call it peer two. Small design of our project is that um, each peer has to uh, set their uh, username before actually building up the connection with another peer, since it's uh, easier for the other peer to tell who is talking to uh, who is talking to him or her uh, with a username so in order to set the username we can simply call the username function we have already uh, defined in our project and then put the username we want as an input so for the first peer I'll just call it peer1 and the second peer I'll call it peer2 After successfully setting the username, we can start the actual connection process. So, in order to uh, in this scenario, I'm going to connect the peer one to peer two first. In order to successfully connect to peer two, there are two information I have to know. The first one is the IP address of peer two, which I have already known is. 10.2.1.249 and the second information I need to know is the listening port of peer 2 which is 6668 as I just mentioned the peer 2 is listening on the port 6668 all right so we can see that the connection has been already uh, has has been successfully uh, built up from peer 1 to peer 2 so we can also see from the peer two side the peer 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 one just joined. However, at this moment, this connection is just a one-way direction from peer one to peer two, since we build up the connection from peer one to peer two, right? In order to achieve the two-way connection, there is one thing more we have to do, which is we have to um, connect from peer two to peer one to build up the two-way connection. So in order to do that, we write a connect back function to allow the peer to connect connect back to the other peer. All right, we can see the information here connecting to one zero dot two dot one dot two four nine on port six 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 seven. Remember, six 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 seven is the port of peer one. So this demonstrates that the two-way connection has already been built up. So we can try to type something to check whether the connection is stable and huh, workable. Yes. We can see the connection has been already successfully built up. Oh, our chat up actually not only allow the peer to send text between each other, but also the peer can send uh, transfer files between each other. So I'm going to uh, show that functionality. So we can see that um, on, uh, on, on peer two side, there is a file called shot.txt. Inside the shot.txt is just uh, some simple uh, random text. And I want to send the shot.txt file from peer 2 to peer 1. In order to do that, oops. in order to do that, uh, we can call the uh, dash file function and then type in the name of the file we want to transfer. All right, we can see the message here send file shot.txt successfully. So uh, we went to peer one side. The shot.txt file has been successfully received. 
uh, what is even more amazing is that we can not only uh, transfer the .txt file, we can actually uh, transfer any kind, uh, most kind of uh, types of file. So here we can see this is a .png file, and we have it on the peer one side, mojang.png, and uh, I've already deleted the copy on the peer peer two side. So I want to uh, I want to transfer this PNG file from peer one to peer two. So similarly, I'm going to call the dash file function and type in the name of the file we want to transfer. Mojang.png, yes. All right, we can see that send file mojang.png successfully on peer two side. Finish the receiving file. And we can see, yes, we have already, uh, this is, uh, this, uh, uh, this is a picture we just received. So after introducing the main functionality of our uh, project, including sending text and the transferring files between peers, I still want to talk about several interesting functionality we have achieved in our project. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, the use, uh, what uh, the username function. Actually, I've already introduced this function at the beginning of the demo. Uh, that uh, a, a peer has to set his username before building up the connection. But the scenario is kind of different. Uh, that what if a peer wants to change his username uh, while the connection is uh, is on? Can this change be ref uh, be reflected on the other peer side? So the answer is yes. So let's first check whether the connection is still on. Yes, the, the, the connection is good. So I'm going to call the uh, username function again to change the username of peer one to peer 11, let's say. All right, we, we see the message here, set name to peer 11. And on peer two side, we can see this change also shows up. Peer just changed its name to peer 11. And we can see the beginning part. It changes from peer one, previous uh, as previously shown, to peer 11. The useful functionality I want to talk about is that uh, we allow the user to change the listening port uh, instead of having to listen on a specific port. The reason why this functionality is very useful is that um, it is very possible that uh, a specific port on a computer is is not available anymore uh, because of some unknown reason. So at this scenario, we have to allow the user to change the listening port to continue using the chat app. Otherwise, the the f failure of a specific port would cause the failure of the whole chat app. That doesn't that do doesn't sound very reasonable. So uh, and then I will try to change uh, change the port of peer one from six 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 seven to eight zero eight zero and see whether uh, I can still like build up a connection on eight zero eight zero. In order to change the port, we can just call the port function. Uh, and then type in the uh, port we want to change to. All right, we see the message here. Server is activated on port 8080. So I'm going to um, try to build up a connection to see whether this actually works. Connect 8080. All right, successfully connected. And then let's try to connect back. All right, I think at this moment, the two-way connection has been success successfully built up. Let's type something. All right, we received the message. I type something back. All right, yes, everything works fine. So we have successfully changed the port from 6667 to 8080.